Welcome to Dragon Quest 10, everyone. I'm Noaria. This is Mel. She's joined today by Futsun, and we are going to continue on with the Myth of the King of Destruction questline. So, the next thing we have to do, since we gathered all the pieces of the ruler's armor last time, Uh, we need to take them back to the Sunfall Plain and show them to Rhodia, the head herald princess. So let's head over that way. That ruined settlement over in elf territory. As always, thank you for joining me, Futsun. I know it's just a short distance, but we, we will still take the horse. Over here to the River of Light, where we'll need to talk to Cosette. Uh, to have her send us to the space where Rhodia is. Custom, thank you so much for the host. It looks like you've gathered all of the necessary ruler's armor. Armor of the ruler. Uh, that will be needed to take on the ruler's challenge the ruler's trial if you'd like to go to where Rhodia is I can guide you there would you like to go there now yes please I understand well then close your eyes for a moment here we go That is a conundrum, Ost. It depends on which VOD it is. If it's the previous one from here, then you might want to watch that first. <laughs> Alright, so here's Rhodia. I have been waiting, Mel. At last, your long journey to gather all of the pieces of the ruler's armor has come to an end. And now I will ask you once again... In order to gain the right to stand up against the destruction, I would like to have you undertake the ruler's challenge. Yep, that's what we gathered the armor up for. We're gonna do it. Thank you very much. Well then, let me say say a prayer for you. Uh, Rodia concentrated very deeply and offered up a prayer to Mel. And Mel could feel power flowing through her whole body. Now, this ruler's armor set has the power stored within it to break the seal of that whirlwind. If you keep the ruler's armor equipped on yourself as you have it now, and you go to the western Gobel Desert in the uh, Dodoam area. Hmm. Wow, that's actually a typo. It says uh, the Doruam continent rather than the Doachaka continent. Interesting. 
uh, the Western Global Desert and the southern portion of that, you will be able to enter that whirlwind and head to the ruler's throne. All right, let's go. Yes, please take me to the desert. Thank you, game. So for some of the longer cutscenes in this story, I have uh, prepared translations ahead of time. Um, the, so some of them will go noticeably faster, but the ones that I don't think will time out, I have not prepared in advance. So some of them will go quick, some of them will not. We shall see. I'm not sure how far in this quest we'll get today. I don't think we'll finish the whole quest line. There goes the whirlwind. And down into the ruins, Mel goes. All right, then. And here we are at the ruler's throne. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Do these doors look familiar? Good. Let's read what's on the tablet here. You who seeks the qualifications of the ruler. Travel through your own memories and defeat all of the challenges here. Then the Chamber of Inheritance will open and you will be entrusted with the qualifications of the ruler. Okay, so where do we start? Um, I guess let's work our way around the room. That's the door we came in, so I guess let's start here. So this was the purple key emblem. The purple key emblem that Mel held began to glow strongly. It brings to mind memories of fighting the sorcerer Eid. Do you want to use the purple key emblem to open this door? Yep. So this was the Megisaurus key emblem. All right, so we're going to be taking on a lot of old bosses here. There we go.
Uh, I guess this one next. Oh, wait. Did anything? Oh, now the purple one is lit up on the big door in the center. Okay. Uh, the blue key emblem began to glow brightly. That brings to mind memories of the battle with Cat Di Video. Do you want to use the blue key emblem to open this door? Yes. I just repeated that she used the key emblem to open the door. Look at those boogly ball. There we go. No, the, the bosses are exactly as hard as they were, I think, the first time we fought them. All right, so this is the, the silver key emblem. Brings to mind fighting the demon Basa Grande. Yes, let's use the silver emblem. I also like that the music changes depending on where you're at. And that you actually go to the place where you fought them. Rather than just a generic cave room... Back when this was released, um, it was during, let's see, it was when the 1.3 update, or no, there was a prologue to this quest line that was released during 1.3 but is no longer available. This particular part, everything we've done so far was in the 1.4 update. And then another part of this quest line was released in the 1.5 update. So anyone who was in the game immediately upon its release had some time to uh, get through all of the original vanilla content before this came out. So I imagine it was really fun at the time. But the max level cap was still pretty low. 70? Maybe... 80. I'm thinking it was more like 70, which would make um, the quest line as a whole pretty difficult. Um, but these fights would still be not as hard. Okay, the red key emblem... ...brings to mind memories of fighting the Sorceress Marine. Well, yeah, yeah, oh no is right.
right then. This is the black key emblem. Uh, brings to mind memories of fighting the water dragon Gilgish. One was another sad story. All right, back to the throne. Ah, one side of it is the door there is all lit up. Okay, here we have the Sakura key emblem. It was the <laughs> demon Ara Aragune. Oh, yeah. That's right, we have to fight this one too. Avert your eyes. Anyone who is arachnophobic. Okay. Good. It's over. Ugh. All right, up next we've got green. This was the uh, beast uh, Pusagon. The one in the pagoda tower. Yeah, the, the ones that are from the castle towns uh, are noticeably stronger than the ones from the mid-level towns. Okay, onward. Is this the gold one? Yep, this is the gold key emblem. Was the demon Kavalna? So the boss for the Doruam quest line. Oh, 
I went for the wings. I was pretty sure Matt was gonna go for the body, but uh, I wanted to see if I could get the wings down before the center was defeated. All right. Okay, next is yellow, the yellow one, right? Yep, the yellow key emblem. Uh, the Udavea Magic Soldiers. Magic Machines. Is it going to be three of them again? Or just one? One. Okay. There we go. Last, we have the white key emblem. This is the demon Zygas. From Orphea. I know these fights aren't hard, even if you were just at the initial level cap of... 50, I don't think they would be hard fights, but I think it's very interesting from a storytelling perspective to have put all of them here for you to fight again, to remind you of where you have been. Hey, Cran, welcome. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. <laughs> Many thanks to the cat. Okay, so that was the last one. All of the lights on the door should be lit up. Ah, you hear a mysterious voice coming from somewhere. You have done well to defeat all of the shadows or illusions. Now is the time when the Chamber of Inheritance shall open. I want a picture of this. Okay. Mel's height. I can't get too close if I want the whole door in. Oh. There we go. Okay. Are 
Are you ready, Futsun? Okay. Let's open this last key emblem door. Amel slowly opened the door to the Chamber of Inheritance. You have done well to make it this far. Long ago, I came down from the heavens and together with the holy dragon Graynarl fought against disaster. I am the one who is spoken of as the ruler. You, who seeks the qualifications of the ruler in order to fight against the disaster that has appeared in this world. Now, take this. It is courage so that you do not falter no matter what kinds of fears you may face. I am not the only one who can grant you power. The warriors are the brave warriors of myth who gave up their lives for the sake of the world will also support you in your brave battles. As long as you are courageous in battle. Hey Trife! Welcome, how's it going? Yes, there was a dragon in nine with the same name. A lot of the things in this, the references in this quest line hark back to DQ9. All right, then. That's it. I'm doing all right. Feeling a bit disoriented because my ears are plugged up. Good luck with the fishing. Okay. So then, now that we have completed that, we just need to head back and uh, talk to, or report in, I guess. Oh, welcome back, Mel. I'm glad you've returned safely. 
would like to head to where Rodia is, I can guide you. Do you want to go there now? Yes. Okay. I will close my eyes. The same text as before. Mel. I believed that you would be able to obtain the qualifications of the ruler without fail. This is a gift from me to you as the new ruler who will stand against the destruction and save this world from, from it. Please take it. Ooh, three sages elixirs. All right. Right now, we are making preparations to be able to go to the the world of overflowing darkness which is the place in the depths of the River of Light where the King of Destruction sleeps. The time of battle will not be long before it visits us. At that time, please, I would like you to go with us, Mel, as the ruler of time. All right. That's it. And she still has a quest for us, which means we will continue on. Uh, but if you had, if you leave at this point before talking to her, you just need Cosette to send you back here again, and then you could talk to her. stars proclaim that the time is right. I have been waiting, Mel. The King of Destruction is now in the depths of the River of Light, sleeping within the place that is called the World of Overflowing Darkness. But before long, he will awaken again. The next time that the King of Destruction appears, it will be the last. Once he, the, once the King of Destruction has fully regained his magical power, we will be unable to stop him as an opponent. We can't let this chance go while the King of Destruction sleeps. But there is one thing that bothers me. And that is the place where the King of Destruction appeared. Mel, I wonder if you know about the person who was called the Second Ruler. Okay, so going back, we're still talking about this, uh, the Second Ruler. They were a unmatched hero who could overcome even the first ruler. And such a person as this was unable to do anything about taking on the King of Destruction as an opponent 
And it is said that's how they died. The place where the King of Destruction appeared was that ancient battlefield. It is the place where the second ruler was laid to rest, and right now it is called the Sunfall Plains. The gravestone for the second ruler is still in that place. It might be that that's what the King of Destruction was aiming for. It might be that the second ruler has something that they can tell or convey to you as the current ruler. Mel, the second ruler's grave is in the Sunfall Plains on the northwestern edge beside the Rainbow Lake. So that you do not suffer the same fate as the second ruler, Mel, please go visit that place. All right. Supposedly you can replay these quests. I guess it must involve resetting the quest in the uh, quest menu rather than just trying to talk to the NPCs involved. Uh, I'm grateful from the bottom of my heart. Please be careful when you go. All right. Back outside, then. So, we need... Oh, interesting. Okay. Helpful Maps is going to tell us where we need to go. We need to go way north. gonna need to go straight through green and yellow bangle territory that's not great we'll make it though Ah, there we go. There's an old stone monument with some words carved here, but it's all been eroded by the wind and rain, and you can't read it. And then you hear a voice coming from somewhere.
you ruler of time who visits this place. I was long ago called the second ruler in this world. This was long, long ago in an era of disaster. I made every possible preparation to be able to strike against the King of Destruction. However, I was unable to do anything and met my end in this place. Destruction is a force much stronger than any word can express. Even if you are the one called the ruler, it is not an opponent that you can take on alone. If you try to fight him in the same way that I did, you will follow in the same fate. Ruler of time, seek a new method of fighting. And in order to find it, pull the cord on the Epic of Greynarl. Or undo the cord. The Herald Princesses know the location of the Epic. Be guided by that Epic. And I pray that you do not follow the same path that I did. You can no longer hear the voice. So you investigated the ruler's gravestone and heard the voice of the second ruler. Uh, let's return to the Herald Princess Rhodia. Oh, do we want to go back right away? Yes. Please take us to where Cosette is. Thank you. I was just going to zoom, but uh, the game will do it for me. Mel, Rodia is waiting. You wish it, I will guide you to her. Yes. Thank you. Mel, so you have investigated the ruler's grave and received a message from the second ruler. I see. So the second ruler told you to undo the thread. I, I suppose, on the Epic of Greynarl and seek a new way of fighting. The Epic of Greynarl. You've heard the words before. But you don't know the truth behind them yet. Hey games fan, thank you so much for the host. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Yes, like from nine. This quest line that we're doing has a whole lot of references to nine within it. The 
location of the Epic of Grey Gnarl is a secret that has been inherited by the Herald pr Princesses. And it is a place called the Mythical Ruins, deep within the Morinara Great Forest. In order to reach that place, you will need to enter the Morinara Great Forest from the Kirika Reed Plains and head toward the center of the forest. Whether the guidance of the second ruler will give you an answer or not, uh, we herald princesses will go along so that we may witness. Bear witness. Okay. All right then. To the forest. Let's see. Um, the fastest way to get there. I think it's to zoom to Aslan. And then take the carriage to the ranger's hut. I don't remember which entrance to the forest we need to go through in order to reach this place. But it's a good thing there is a warp between the two. Alright. The ranger's but is this third one here, Rangers Association. get over there so I think we do need to take the warp here all right Because there are various rivers and things that cut us off. I'm gonna have to take kind of a roundabout way to get there. So many monsters! Okay, so it's a little hard to see on the big map. Ah, it was the Hurt Mordoraki. Congrats, everyone. Uh, there is a cave over here, and we need to take that to get toward the center portion of the map area. Okay. 
Okay. New kinds of enemies. All right. Then to the south, there's one more cave that will take us right where we need to go. Ah, oh, the stairs are over here. Okay. They're asleep. They're running away. Right. Here we are. time. Mel, take a look at this light. This ball of light itself is the epic of Greynarl. The epic itself isn't actually a book. It is... It is what once was the holy dragon what remains of it now as a spirit. And this light tells us about what happened in the past. Now let us ask the epic the path that we should proceed forward. Rodia? The light has frozen over over the many years and months that have passed. It has become frosted or frozen, and right now it sleeps, fallen asleep. Uh, Mel, this is something that was within the lore that we have inherited as herald princesses. If you wish to awaken the sleeping epic of Greynarl, then seek out the dragon's fire sake. Fire sake is made from the, or gotten from the fire lizards in the Flaming Mountain, or another way of saying the volcano.
fire lizards of the Flaming Mountain would point to the Doachaka continent where the Calcidora volcano is and the baby salamando salamanders that are a red monster there. Please go defeat the monsters and obtain the dragon's fire sake. All right. Oh, nice. It's going to put us at the base of the volcano. Or in the oasis, which is close to where the base of the volcano is. Sure. Before we head out, let me check. Yep, okay. I have plenty of fuel. Alright, and we're off to the volcano. Here we are, now we just need to find the uh, salamanders. I think it's in one of those big caverns that has pillars in the middle. You are what? Yep, you are what I'm looking for. Oh, wow. What are you? Oh, it's level 50. Nice, though. That's that's very interesting for a, a dagger. The uh, bonus stats on it are all increased casting speed. Now, if that was a staff or a wand, that would be excellent. Where did the rest of them go? Place is usually crawling with them. I guess let's proceed down the hall to the next chamber. Hey, Christy! Welcome! How's it going? I need to I didn't even take a look at the um 
the classes that can equip daggers. I'm not sure if any of the major magic user ones even do. That's the randomness of the equipment chests, though. Okay. Yeah, there are more in here. Good. Eating some foods. Excellent. Nice crit. No drop yet. The lizards are holding out on us. We need the alcohol. Another chest. Oh, it's the same one, but different stats on it. Uh, yes, mages can. Mages, thieves, minstrels, dancers, and goof-offs. Hey, Bretward! How's it going? I usually have a two-handed staff on mage. But I suppose daggers could be another way to go. <laughs> That's it. There was two there and still no drop. All right. Well, on to the next room, I suppose. How's it going, Bretward? There we go. There we go. We received the dragon's fire sake. Thank you for the warp out, Futsun. Oh, cool. Looks like a special urn or something. All right, then. Back to Aznan. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. In your neighborhood or when I was in the volcano? Okay, now we need to get all the way back there. Ooh, the ranger's hut. the warp again.
And then all the way back around. Congrats on the boss fight, everyone. Trying to avoid the monsters. Okay, first cave. Oh, great. <laughs> Even more mist to make it difficult to see where we're going. Alright, just about there. More party members! Grant, thanks so much for gifting a sub to Chillin! Chillin, enjoy the emotes! Let's get some mini medals in chat to celebrate. And let's head inside. As expected, Mel. You were able to obtain the Dragon's Fire Sake in order to awaken the Epic of Graynarl. You want to give the Dragon's Fire Sake to Rodia? Yes. Mel handed it over. So this is the Dragon's Fire Sake. I can sense a strong magical power from it. Holy dragon, we offer up this dragon's fire sake. Please, awaken. Uh, Rodia poured the dragon's fire sake out into a puddle, into a, the lake. I guess there's an underground lake that it's hovering over. It has been long, such a long, long slumber. Holy 
holy dragon Graynarl. We have been waiting for you to awaken. Ah. Once again, the time of disaster has come upon us. And that one, you are the ruler of time, are you not? I, Graynarl, can see through everything, and I know that you have come to me asking for how to open the path to the King of Destruction. I remember flying through that sky with the first ruler. If it were possible, I would have liked to have guided you to the place where the King of Destruction sleeps with my own wings. But with my body as it is now, I can no longer fly. Destruction has gained a... an era gained eras in which to sleep long and has become someone become a a creature stronger than you could possibly imagine It is as the second ruler said. It is no longer someone that the ruler alone, or the power of the ruler alone, can destroy. And so, I will entrust to you a new power. This is a key. This key will allow those qualified to be the ruler to meet with one another. It doesn't have a name, but let's see. I shall call it the ruler's key. When those who are guided by that key gather and group up together and there is the power of eight, then it will be possible to challenge the king of destruction. Even if one could not stand up against it, if you gather the power of eight rulers, then even disaster can be subdued. Now go, ruler of time. Open the gates of hell by your own strength and fly down into the depths of hell. I will once more fall into a long, long slumber waiting for the next age.
Mel, ruler of time. Take. I will take this key back to the Sunfall Plains and be waiting for you there. At last it will be the decisive battle against the King of Destruction. Prepare yourself completely and then come see me. I hope this will be of use to you in the fight. Oh. I hope we won't need them, but we got two Yggdrasil leaves. The river of light in the Sunfall Plains. That is where the gate to hell will be opened. They're they're using different words for gate and hell here. But yes, there are many ways apparently to say these things in Japanese. This one is more akin to the Western concept of hell being the fiery place underground, and the one from before in V3 was a little bit more like uh, hell as a ruthless abyss. All right. So we need to go see her and get that key. Uh, Rodia is waiting. Yes, please. Thank you. I've been waiting, Mel. Now is the time to use the ruler's key entrusted to us by the Epic of Greynarl. Head to the world overflowing with darkness. And if you are prepared to defeat the King of Destruction, then I will entrust this key to you. Or like, if you're prepared to face him and enter that world, then I will entrust it to you. Yes. So we needed to come back here to pick up the next quest in the line. I see. Ruler, I am grateful. Now I shall give you the ruler's key. Which is now in our key items. As the Epic of Greynarl explained, this key will be used to find companions with which to challenge destruction. It will guide you all together. Or it, it plays the, the role of guiding you all together so that you can group up. If you exit this place and go to the north, there is a shrine along the River of Light. There is a place there that, where the entrance to the world overflowing with darkness is, is that carved? 
Where has been created? Where it's been created. When you are there, use the ruler's key. The key will allow you to meet with companions and guide you to the world of overflowing darkness. That place is an alien world covered with deep darkness. It is a place governed by special laws not of this world. I'd like to explain to you about the rules that govern that place. Uh, but in order to do so, I would have you speak with me once more. Okay. Here are the things we need to be concerned with. <laughs> Is there something that you would like to know about the laws that govern the world of overflowing darkness. Uh, first one on the list here is about that world. It is a dark space that was created back in the era of the gods when the gods of Estaltia sealed the king of destruction in their t in that dark space to sleep it is by the holy power of the river of light that the king of destruction was able to be sealed in that world of darkness and has slept for an eternity But because of the evil mist, which has appeared on this, in this land, the power of the River of Light has gotten weaker, and the seal on the King of Destruction has been undone. Okay. How do things go in that world? People from this world cannot stay there long. If you do not reach the King of Destruction within 60 minutes, I will forcibly bring you back to this world. And in order to undo the seals on each door, uh, on the doors of each level, you must defeat all of the monsters on that level in order to proceed forward. If any of your companions happen to die along the way, once all of the monsters are defeated and you touch that the door to and the, the, and the seal on the door is lifted, when you touch that door, they will be revived. If a companion becomes unresponsive, then once the door has been unsealed, after five minutes have passed, you will leave that companion behind and move on to the next level. Okay. And then last, uh, getting in and out of the world of darkness. Uh, once you leave this place, if you go north, you will find a shrine along the River of Light. That is the place where an entrance has been created to the world of overflowing darkness. Please use the ruler's key there. It will allow you to meet with other people. This is the same thing she said earlier. Um, 
If you wish to return from the world of overflowing darkness, use the ruler's key once more and you will be brought back to this world. However, if you return part way through, uh, please be careful that it does not cause problems for the companions that you are with. Uh, if you do return partway through, then you will need to wait 10 minutes before you are allowed to enter the world of overflowing darkness again. So please remember that. Uh, about partying up. In the world of overflowing darkness, your party and another party will be grouped up together. Uh, each party will consist of four party members. Uh, it doesn't matter if the other members in your party are support companions or not, or actual players. Normal battles will be done one party at a time, but when the time comes to challenge the King of Destruction, all eight of you will be taking part in the same battle. You can search for another party to accompany you into the World of Overflowing Darkness. Uh, if you want to do that, you will ch use the Select Party option. Otherwise, you can choose to automatically search for a party. These are the two methods you may use. If you choose Select Party, then it will show you a list of party leaders nearby who have a ruler's key, and you can invite them from that. If you receive a confirmation from that person, then the parties will be grouped together. If you choose to automatically search, then you will automatically be grouped up with another party who has the same objective. If you can't find a party within 180 seconds, uh, the party search will be cancelled and you will have to choose to search again. You may also choose do not party up and just your party alone will go into the battle. But for the most part, there would be no chance of success if you challenge in that way. All right, that's everything. Oh. I think this is the same thing. Yep. <clears throat> Please go defeat the King of Destruction using the ruler's power. I'll be praying for your success. Yes. Yes, Ritsun. Uh, I will be taking a break here once we leave this place before we set out. Just have a seat over here. So I will be back in a few minutes. Thank you all so much for joining me. When we get back, our very first eight person battle in Dragon Quest X. Back in a few. <laughs>